a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, well, we should just call it the big fire, if we think it's going to be. The big fire? Yeah. Well, that is practical. Always my goal. I'm actually amazed we've never used that name. Sometimes the best names are the most obvious. The big fire it is. How's it so there's this creek oh. down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but... It's been really nice. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. How's it chillin' cringe babies? We're back in Firewatch again. That was day 64, so I'm guessing the fire's gotten a lot worse since then. And I'm gonna be honest, I really, really, I haven't played this in such a long time that I don't really remember um, what happened, and I don't remember what's going to happen. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a, That would be a very rough way to go, wouldn't it? Hmm, that's not, yeah, that would be really very, very unfortunate. Luckily, I've I've never even seen a bear in real life. The closest encounter I've had with anything that might be able to kill me uh, is... Oh, hello. Someone left their clipboard out here. Well, it could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... 
Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Oh, someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. <laughs> you kill Paul McCartney, you that doesn't Hendrix. make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Ooh, hello. Buckaroo? That is your radio. Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. <coughs> oh, hello. Hmm. Someone, uh, someone Henry? done whacked me on the back of the head. Are you oh, there? hello, hello. hello. Henry, I holy hell! I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ! <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't. What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God. Damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what... What you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. That's just... Oh, this just seems like a... Like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance that they had anything to do with those girls disappearing? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to... Keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. No fireworks in the University of Eastern Colorado. Drop that. Let's see if I can pick this 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 old sweater up because I'm pretty sure that's that's a reference to The Last of Us. The University of Eastern Colorado doesn't exist, but in The Last of Us. And can't quite tell what that logo is. Explore Wavidi Meadow. Okay. Zoom in. So I'm by the Ruby River. No, I'm by Jonesy Lake, and I need to get to Wapiti Meadow. Okay, so I'm going the right way. Um, let's keep going. Yeah, that needs to go. Should be a right turn up here. Unless I, unless I passed it. I did pass it. Huh. 
Love those animal noises, it's fun. Okay, so it's this way, it's this way. Let's see. We're good. They're all good. We're not scared of fights. I'm not scared of fights. I'm definitely not scared of fights. That's definitely not a fear that I actually have. Not at all. Not even close. Don't fall, Henry. There you go. Oh. Rock pile. Nice. This game is just so nice, you know? Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I could climb this. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. I just keep repeatedly hitting it. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. I just keep <sighs> oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Where are they? Where did she say? Look for controlled burns south of Ruby River. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am across the camp. I am literally as far as, um, almost as far as you can possibly be from there. Mm, that's not fun. Okay, so we're gonna head back. Just gonna go back, take a left, go up Thunder Canyon, go through the cave, and then we're on our way. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Yeah, that's exactly my tell thinking. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry... I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. Yeah, that's no, right. it's a very I'm not. Okay, thing. let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. It's very possible. I, I love how she just, like, doesn't give a crap. She's just like, you're mentally insane. Bah -ha -ha. I don't believe you. I, you know, I got hit on the back of the head. Uh, but, uh, what's going there's on no yet. proof but at all. Definitely I don't no proof. have okay, a good okay. feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. 
He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, the big fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. Let's go, if forest the burns. Where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out. Not yet, apparently. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Ooh. Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Hey, what's that? What's that? I see a tool. What is that? What is that thingy? What is it? What is that? Oh, I thought I said report. Um, so there's a big tree, and then a single ski. Hmm. I I don't even think I'm going in the right direction, am I? Oh no, I am. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den or, you know, anywhere. Camp Arapaho. It would look great. You're there? I'd want yep, Pork Pond. <sighs> it's Wouldn't been out there since pork the 50s. Pond. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Might this be some high ground right here? Well, looky there! It is indeed some high ground. Looky there, I got across. Let's go this way. See some old cow uh, Do cabins. You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. He, he wasn't a scout or a weebelow or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah. Uh, 
it's not that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Huh. You know how to tie one? Heck no. I'd make a weeblo do it. Hmm. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Missing person. That's sad. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow. Um, 99% yeah, no, sure that's... that's for burying poop. Yeah, you don't want that. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? You can see it. I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? I'm going to keep now holding that's it. that's a real mystery. I'm, and I'm just going to keep holding it forever. It's mine. It's mine. It's my trowel. It's my precious... Wow, those toilet paper physics are so unrealistic. That's disgusting. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. So what's next? I'm going to do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll <laughs> add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah. I'm out of here. Ooh, nice big swings. We done slapped that fence. It got slapped. Obliterated. Ooh, nice. Hold up. We should be hitting it from the other side. Or not. That's cool, that works. Hello. Welcome to the other side. Are you there? I I had a thought. Let's hear it. You That's heard rare. someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, Jinx, you owe me a soda. There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what oh, I thought when you I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> I just left your line open. That's not what this is. 
Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Now that's not very swag. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I sure did. This game is pretty swag. Um, I'd say even more swag than the end of the episode. Oh, <laughs>